Yeah. Hey, is that pizza? Oh. Sarah, it's a hot plate. Take a piece, please. That's the calamari entree. And, and the beef capaccio with um Get into a better mood. With parmesan and olive oil. Okay, here we are in sunny Saint Tropez. We just drove into the village but it's um it's very packed in there. to Saint-Tropez. Go <laughs> swimming there, couldn't you? That's lovely. That is raining blue. I wanted to get back to St. Trimpe, but it's so sunny. Yeah. Very clear water. Yeah. Huh? Mm. It feels warm, doesn't it? A beautiful blue sky. So we've got a park in St. Maxime, pre parking right in the middle of town. So. This is the, um, looking across to Saint Tropez there, Get back to the Saint Maxime strip. These are the rocks that Stuart, you know, danced around with the uh, rock band that he travelled around <laughs> Europe with, that we're really sick of hearing about. English rock band in the 70s. Yeah, right. Yeah. I think he's getting confused. Take a listen. Oh, that's it, I think. I think that might be it. Oh, shit. That might be it. it I don't know what you're saying. No, I think that's it. I think that's You've it. said about five of them are it. No, that's the script. That's the rocks. I filmed every one of them. No, I think that's it, because I don't think we would walk further than that. But I had memories of it being much more popular. Look at these, see, along here. These, see these properties here, guy? Look, 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 look in here. Look, look, this is what the rich, this is what, like, you know? Madonna or people like that would have a villa in France, in south of France. Look at them. Crazy. This looks fake and then there's the water moving. Yeah, keep going. I can see the sunlight. Mum, if you see the sun, it's the best. This is uh, just north of, just around from Cap Dantide. Just looking around to the see the red the red outcrops up here and the windy road around the um, Riviera. Okay. This is looking out. Down to winding around the uh, winding around the um, Riviera Road. And we keep seeing these amazing views, so I keep pulling over. I don't know if the camera's doing justice to them, but it's incredible, just wherever we look. And this is on the way to Cannes, which I'm tipping, is just probably around that bluff there. In fact, those are probably the shops of Cannes there. Sort of, it's not very... That doesn't show up. Quite lovely, isn't it? This is Khan. So this is the Carlton Hotel. 
Oh, the intercontinental, I should say. So. I think it's counting, though. And this is sunset at Khan. Oh, it's beautiful. Sunset at Khan. And that is the Academy of Festivals. Everyone walks up the red carpet. And that's the sunset. That's Jara Makata. Ascends the steps. And they wave to the fans. And I'm going to get really keen for this commentary. Let me see if they can straight out. Concentrate on what you're doing. What do you say? It's a casino. Uh, that's the Rab Sailor. Where's Monaco? Oh, you can't see him. Monica from the house. This is looking down on Monaco from the palace. Little baby, little baby little girl. Are we taking the bus down? Look at the guard, yeah. See the guard? Well, what do you think he's guarding?
Okay, this is where we are. We're in Monaco. Yeah. Just parked, and this is the sort of car we park next to. Whoa. That's the skating rink we were just on. And this is our car. This is the new sport show. Now look at the beach here, it's all made out of rocks and pebbles. Oh, you need to go. Coming around to Nice from around the coast road, a little know. narrow coast road from Monaco. Where we're going to stop camera. at the beach. And the 50 feet second. At least we know what direction we're going. You've been with you. I don't go here. We should just sit down and watch the sunset. We can't. We can't find a park. Ah, look how busy the road is. Or well, if there is a park. No, I mean like back in car. Nice. Is it? The casino in Nice. Alice, look at that building. Is it? Yeah. Just yes. yeah. hotel. Filming as you're driving, just to show the curves. Porto Veneri, and this is out at our, our window. Mm -hmm. Looking up, looking up to the hills, and all the painted buildings. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, 
remember like the United States. Yeah, we're just doing You're uh, really a pain in the bum at the moment, Angus, and I'm recording that too. So you are now on record as being a pain in the bum. Yeah. Synchro Terra, this is Manarola. Just having a, um, a quiet drink. Still, I like it. On the coast of Italy. She's a good terror. Yep. Yeah, the train went through that tunnel, and you could. That's the train tunnel there.
is Rio Majori. Majori. This is in Monterosa. This is really one of the hunting terra. And the kids just want to go on the beach. I think that's where they are. I think this. Hang in there. Spezia Hotel Continental for Eden's there. And it's um breakfast is on the roof, which is good. We're on the top floor. So we've got all this in the morning. This is the day that we're driving up to Florence. Shopping street. You walk through all the shops and you can go up high. Yeah. Do you want to do that now? Stop it. Ponte Vecchio. Don't Angus. Uh, three lemonades and two cappuccinos, forty dollars. We came the long way. We came up that hill. We went up to the top. We went up to the top of that mountain. And the gardens were closed because we didn't have a ticket, so we came all the way down. And all the way up. But look. <laughs> but Zach thinks it's worth it. And Jared doesn't. Ponte Vecchio in the distance. That's easier. That's the Grand Duomo. And our hotel is just behind that. Yeah, hang on. I just want to get all this. Jamie. Sag. My motorcycle is hurtling along.
for the outcast is an exhibit of the, in the Plaza Signorina in Florence. Just outside the Pizza Gallery and everyone's got their cars here for some other reason. Oh, they're old. Look at that. Whoa. How's that one, Zaki? It's just a little, it's amazing. Alpha Reno Alpine. Oh, yeah. That's a real carpet. It's just amazing, isn't it? We gotta get this pink one. Yeah. No. Yeah, I like that. Wow. Well. Okay. There's all the sculptures outside the oh now that's the copy of the one that was in the that's a copy of the one that was in the Uffizi where it's all done on a spiral. So it all works its way up in the spiral. That of course is copy. David. Copy of David at the Uffizi. Uh, not not the Uffizi, yeah, the Galleria, sorry. That's where the original David used to stand. This is in the Uffizi, looking down at the gallery entrance and up to San Signorino. This is... Wait a minute, Jamie. Jara, I want to get a photo of you actually. Jara. I'll get part of you with the um, Ponte Vecchio in the background.
This is very misty. It's quite a hot day, so it must be um, steaming up all the moisture out of the earth. Yeah. This is um, the view from our balcony. Yeah, just outside of Sisi. This is Rocca Majora. Top of uh, the CC. I know, I'm pretty sexy. Right. Why would they do it up here? Do what? Know. What? There's condoms everywhere. Are there? Use condoms. Yeah. Oh, condoms? Oh, really? And now, at the top of uh, the CC, and now, um, well, oh, just just over those hills, through that valley there. Yeah. So we know where we are. No, the good news is we're never going to do it. Yeah. There's our car park down there. Pulling away to... Oh, 
Francis, San Francisco, the uh, church, the upper part of the church. Careful, see if you can come down without falling now. Come on. Come on, there you come. That's a sissy, and this is that seahorse again. <laughs> and there, Rusty 1 and Rusty 2. And here we have alien mother and daughter. The angry man is raising his hand and he's off the stuff. Oh dear God. And she is filming. Yeah, they're going to get the wrath of God. Fire and brimstone. Hell has no fury than an unwrong. I know. <laughs> yeah. She is here. She's a Titanian disaster. The car's coming. Ready? <laughs> There's one. Oh, I guess, I guess, should I? Huh? What? Oh, push it, push it. That? Right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come. 
Emontala, I think it is. But don't don't disturb me because this is a good shot. Just don't disturb me. I agree. No, be quiet, Zach. If that's possible. I don't. What's not possible? I don't really think so much. No, there's some really good mountain shots here. <laughs> oh, scary! <laughs> scary. This is the one. This is the one lane one. Oh no, it's not. Got it. Yeah, yeah. That's just all ruins. It's a coast It's just all ruins. Yeah, no, it's like it's I wonder if Nicole Kidman's up there. Seen her? We haven't seen her in Italy. Okay, Angus. Go. Go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>
is that. So those are the CCs. Secret Lab and Hardaway Hermitage. This is our bedroom. This is in Assisi. This is our bathroom. That's going my bathroom. We're coming back into the bedroom. Going around. That's our... Well actually this is the door to our part. That's the entry. This is the door to the other part, which is where the kids are. And that's their bathroom. A lot of activity happened just there last night. Help, right? Um, can I work? And this is the uh, the unfolding of the bed process. So many. And Kerry's unwilling to provide sheets for Yeah, right. Sienna. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Do you want to go back to there? This is the nine uh, representing the nine councils. To put the square together, or the design of the square. And that apparently is the gate out, whatever that means. But um, it all comes down to a point here, <laughs> which is just a drain. And it's got a distinct urine smell. That's the uh, epicenter of Siena. Sex is throwing a coin in to see if he's gay. And I'm not gay. And it's bounced back. What does that mean? When it flips up and it's uh, done a triple twist. What does that mean? This is Sienna looking for the Nuovo Duomo. 140 steps to get up to this tower. That's the um, Piazza del Campo. We have the big horse race. Oh, it's 
big, isn't it? Controlling what? The Pantheon. In Rome. Or what was it? The um, the diameter of this circle is exactly the same. It's 43.3 meters diameter, which is exactly the same to the millimeter as the height. From the, from the top to the bottom. No, I was just doing a show. And I reckon that that dome is the single most impressive architectural feat of the Roman times. The way they all built it up. And they were able to put that circle in the middle for life. And any water that comes in gets drained away on the marble floor. And these uh, columns here are all made out of one single box of stone. And he's hawking it here. This is the front of the arm. Okay. It's very dark and uh, spooky. Now this is the old Jewish synagogue. This is. What? Oh yeah. Cents, uh, 20 cents, what 10 for? Cents, 5 cents, 2 cents, what for? Throwing it on the top of that Can you see the Colosseum there now? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, sir. Uh, on top of the wall. Look at the wall. This is the forum. Look at all the money. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm a, Oh, yeah. Can you show a coin?
io sono qua. Io faccio qui. Dai, 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 If it is a custom, so you just back the work like we are nowadays. We like the same things so Romans like 2,000 years ago. Uh, the example can be, we have a variety of entertainments nowadays like the Romans. Romans have chariot races, athletic competitions, uh, comedies, uh, games with violence, cruelty, and blood. Nowadays we have the same. For example, even the movies we will, um, uh, we have not much left about the Colosseum inside. Almost, almost all materials like marbles and stones are gone. What we have left nowadays are bricks and concrete. If you look at the opposite side, you have an example of how the seats could be. Can you see? A few blocks of white stone were revitalized in the 1900s to reveal a little portion of the seats to show us how they could be originally. So that is an example of how seats could be. From that level, seats were going all the way up to the top. To the left, you can see the original height of the Colosseum, which is the north side. Seats were very steep, different on the compared to the south side because of the earthquake. Romans were able to organize uh, sea battles in this place because being not empty below the arena, the arena could be flooded. They were flooding the arena like a swimming pool. This is the key of shop is just trying to get in to the Gucci store on Via Cardinotti, which is very touch of the Spanish steps. Looking down from the Spanish steps, looking down via Candotti, I think it is. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. This is so weird, that this is the Plaza Montecitorio, but they've, it's all under construction, so they screen print this huge cloth. It goes across the front of it so, that it, so that it looks like it's still there. It's incredible. Of what? Take a photo of the mall with that Yeah. Where's Jamie? That's right, just had lunch. Just outside of Pantheon.
Yeah. Hey, what well, we just need a health food. Vatican. Some paper spray. Waiting for the pub, waiting for the pub. Oh, it looks like you won't be there today, kids. Cleaning his teeth. Jared thinks he's having a shower. <laughs> Just catching the last dongs of the 12 o'clock. Looking from, uh, yeah, looking from the top of the Duomo, the Duomo at the top of St. Pe Peter's Basilica, that's the square there, at the front, with the obelisk, and looking up the Tiber there, across to Spanish Steps, across to the Trevi, no, that's alright, the Trevi Fountain the other there. It's the Palatine there, and Piazza Campo Figlia, and the Colosseum is just behind it. Right there, just about there, it's hazy. We just climbed up to there, now you can see the people at the top. Basilica. Mm. This is the dome. Um, and up there, just in that, just above the windows, are all the mosaics. Just intricate mosaics you can't even see from down here. And all perfect with graded colours and everything, shades of flesh colours and everything, it's amazing. And then, right at the top there, that's the lantern. And we climb there by a spiral staircase around the top of the dome, and from there you get a view out over all of Rome. 350 steps up to there. Just a skip up the scale of the place. Let's go back to the entrance.
You're going to really hate this, I'm going to be doing the best close-up. And here's Zach and Angus, that's Stuart and Angus on top of the double-decker bus. And there's the Vatican. This is the, this is the Via, Via Veneto. Oh, if you don't want to go to Lovey, you go to... Yeah, you can go anywhere and run. <laughs> and this is Grand Central Station. Making it through that all roads lead to Rome. And there's Pantheon. Thank you. 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 speeches on the balcony there. Oh, look, yeah, all right. Oh, look at that old building. Wow. Looking back. Into the looking forum. Looking back to Plaza Venezia. Into the forum. Into the forum. And then this is looking across the forum. The Colosseum ahead. See the Colosseum? Yeah, this is the road that we didn't walk down. Yeah, that's the shot everyone gets at the forum. Colosseum, I mean. chariot races. That's the old palace Look down over the, um, the races. Circus Maximus. So we had lunch that day.
<laughs> so we went to that room because it's just stank. And um, they give us a new one. This one is much better. This one has a view across to St. Peter's. The sunset. On a hotel room in Rome. Oh yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, oh it's rocking around. Film this famous, film the famous hat, Stuart. The famous hat. This hat is a boomerang. The amount of grief that hat's given us. I tell you what, he never forgets it at home. He never. last chance you'll see it for many many years. You won't ever see it again after this, not till you've grown up probably. No, not with us, yeah. Not till you've grown up and you'll... So this will be your last memories of the Colosseum. This is the thing you're most wanting to see in Rome. Find it? No, uh, alright. 
this is our last day in Rome looking out of our window just to show you the Roman traffic. Looking out of the um, buildings. Looking around to uh, Rome over the bridge over the Tiber there. This is how they park their cars. Just <laughs> yeah, wherever they can. As long as there's gap for a car to get through, they'll park it anywhere. <laughs> 